What's up, motherfucker? This is your African King of Comedy, Michael Blackson. You watching Real Friends, Real Talk. Get real with it, my son. Face facts, what up, what up? Real Fans, Real Talk.com. Where Arthur Domus trip young and intern time for the white and black fans. Asia to Manhattan. I'll get all my facts from my bro, Mark the Step. Thursday night is Real Fans, Real Talk. But don't adjust your screen. Legend of Two Games has taken over. Trip Young got some business to take care of, but we still holding it down, man. And I'm here with the lovely Emerald Marie. Hey, what's going on, guys? So let's get right into it. This week, a lot of great news in the culture. Rock Nation and the NFL announced their partnership. Now, this was very unexpected for most of us. Um, basically, Jay-Z and Rock Nation will be leading the live entertainment strategist for the NFL. Now, some may feel like since it's three years since Kaepernick has kneeled, that this is the action that we needed for change or that the hip hop mogul is a sellout. Now, there are two parts to this deal. One is the entertainment initiative and the other pertains to social justice. So. Yeah, so there are a lot of opinions on this. Yes. Um, <laughs> some say Jay's a sellout, others feel this is great for the culture. Mm -hmm. um, and then some are just in the middle ground of wait and see and let's see how it all plays out. Um, I think this is great for the culture. Um, I think you got to have a seat at the table if you want to, yep. you know, initiate change. Um, Jay Z has openly said, you know, I don't need you; you need me when it comes to the NFL and Super Bowl halftime shows. And now he gets to not only be a part of those halftime shows right. um, behind the scenes, anyway, mm -hmm. but also gets to initiate the change that we need to see within the culture from the NFL. And you and I both have been very critical of Roger Goodell. Yeah, for a long um, time. What are your thoughts now on Roger Goodell? Now that we've seen them together, we see what the initiative is and what we may be able to expect the next few years? Um, I, I'm not going to lie. I'm still kind of torn about where I stand with this. You know, all week I've been going back and forth. Mm -hmm. um, Roger Goodell, I, I appreciate the attempt and the effort. I just feel like this is something that Kaepernick has been saying for three years. Um, I'm just hopeful that he's not using Jay-Z as a pawn to kind of say, you know, hey, we spoke to a hip-hop mogul that is obviously a strong pillar in the African-American community, and I hope that this is done um, for change and for um, the right reasons. So, I mean, I don't know. I think social um, injustice is something that basically caused, it polarized the community in the NFL. So I, wanted, I wanna make sure that this plan is gonna actually have positive efforts and that the entertainment aspect of it isn't what the focus is, even right. though that's, you know, the halftime show and all the new artists that he's bringing on. Um, so, I mean, the best thing that we can do is just be hopeful and, and look to see what the outcome is. Um, but I'm not, I'm not jumping for joy with this. I, well, I think, I think that's the approach we have to take. Yeah. We've got to kind of wait and see and see how it plays out. Um, but Jay has done a lot of work behind the scenes mm -hmm. to move the culture forward with mm -hmm. prison reform, um, with a lot of inner city movements. And I think we've got to wait yeah. and see what he plans for this. You know, is this going to be something that overnight just changes the culture of the NFL? No. Um, you know, there, there are a lot of things, there are a lot of moving parts mm -hmm. within that. Uh, but to call him a sellout yeah. because of maybe how you feel about Colin Kaepernick, I think that's very unfair. Look, I think that's extreme. Uh, uh, very yeah. extreme. I mean, let, let's, let's call it what it is. Colin Kaepernick did what he felt was in his best interest when mm -hmm. he took a knee. Um, and, I, and though I think the message was great and I think it is the right message that we need to start portraying, yeah. I don't think he was the right messenger for it. I've always said that. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I, I felt that the timing of it was completely off. Um, you know, hindsight is twenty twenty, but a lot of people forget that the year before he started taking it, he, he renegotiated his deal so he could become a free agent. He wanted out of San Francisco. And the moment he lost his job, a lot of people didn't even know he was protesting the flag. He sat down and people thought he was pouting because he was no longer the starting quarterback. Yeah. Um, so he became the face of it after that, mm -hmm. after sitting down during the anthem and then having to explain why he sat down. Um, but to say he's blackballed, I don't agree with it. I've always said it. We've seen other players who have taken a knee who still have jobs. Eric Reed is one of those guys who's been very vocal. Um, he came out and said some negative things about Jay-Z, but he still has a job in the NFL. Yeah. Kenny Stills has a job, and Kenny Stills has been very vocal, not only with taking a knee during the national anthem, but he recently came out and was blasting the Miami Dolphins owner yeah. for being a Trump supporter. Right. So if we're just going to solely say, oh, Jay shouldn't have done this because mm -hmm. of Kaepernick, I think that that's a very skewed view of, well, of things and how to look at it. The thing is that no matter um, who you are, if you support the NFL, then technically you're somewhat hypocritical in that regard. So mm -hmm. it's, it is harsh to call him that because like Eric Reed, who's going off on Twitter, you're still getting a check from the NFL. Right. So you can't say Jay is a sellout, Jay is this, but you humbly get your check while Cap doesn't anymore. 
And same thing for even just the day-to-day -day people who are kind of for the movement. If you still turn the TV on and watch the NFL, technically you're, you're hypocritical as well. So there's a fine line. I think Jay-Z has done a plethora of things for the black community. Um, I mean, all these documentaries where he's highlighting, I know Trayvon Martin's gonna come out soon, Khalif Broder. Um, so he's the reform in right. itself. So he's had plenty of, um, you know, things that he's been doing. So this cannot be the thing to be like, he's a hypocrite and he's a sellout. No. And I think there are great intentions behind this because him and Roger Goodell getting together mm -hmm. was really, it, it was brought together because of him being on the board for prison reform now. Right. And Robert Kraft introducing him to Roger Goodell and saying, hey, I, I love what you guys are doing here. Right. And we want to find a way to bring a broader awareness to the NFL. Right. Um, but we, we've got to take a wait and see approach. Ultimately, just from a fan side of things, I'm a huge Jay-Z fan. Yeah. So it would be hard for me to just be like, oh, he's selling out. And I'm not uh, a Roger <laughs> fan and, and right. at all. Right. So, you know, it, we got to wait and see. We got to see how it plays out. But ultimately, I think this will be a good thing. Um, and, and, and we'll see. And most importantly, um, I seen where at the press conference, the NFL officials said, uh, this is not about sports. This isn't about entertainment. It's about unifying America. So let's hope. That it does. Absolutely. This is Deontay the Bronze Bummer Wilder, heavyweight champion of the world, and you're watching Real Fans Real Talk. Face facts, what up, what up? RealFansRealTalk.com Where Arthur Diamonds tripped young and intern Tom For the white and black fans, Asia to Manhattan I get all my facts from my bro Mark the Stats Man if